In this video, I'll show you how to do beachy waves from naturally wavy textured hair using the T3 Body Waver, Oro Botanica Udebog by Kerastase Texture Spray, Elixirol Team Oil, and the Volume In Powder VIP Finishing Spray by Kerastase. My hair is already dry. This is day two hair. Basically, this is very natural. So I will start by sectioning out my hair and I roughly part it on this side and I don't really fight it I just kind of let it fall where it wants to fall and go with it I always section out the crown where the hair tends to split in the back and I hate when that when I see pictures of myself from the back and that split and I kind of act like I'm gonna set it in a large roller set so I use my hand Place it in the back of the hair and roll the hair around my hand. It's gonna be smooth when it falls down and it's gonna set this section so that it doesn't split. Take a clip, kind of like this, and secure that spot. Okay, so now that I've sectioned out the crown of my head, I have already preheated the T3. I have it at four out of five blue light circles. I like to do a little bit higher heat and leave it on the hair for less time. And for me, that just tends to set my hair better and it helps me go faster because I don't wanna be here all day doing my hair. So I've parted my hair in half and brought both halves forward to keep it separate. And to begin, I'm gonna start on my left side and take a long vertical one inch section, smooth the hair out using my fingers. Then you take the curling iron, top faces down, so that when you release the wave, you're not, it's not going over your hand and the cord, um, it's just gonna drop really pretty and then you leave it so that it can set and cool down. So I'm gonna bring it behind my head, face it down and rope the hair Twisting and roping till you have about two inches left, one or two inches, depending on the length of your hair and how much, how wavy you want it to look. Just let it set. I like to test it. Be very careful though. I've burnt myself many times doing this. Once it's warm, I'm going to release it gently and it's going to look kind of like that. So I'm going to continue going forward doing the same thing. So I have two sections in the back. Now I'm kind of at my ear, moving to the side of my head. Same thing, just using my fingers, smoothing out the hair, roping, twisting, roping, twisting, leaving the ends out. And then I'm gonna release it. And now I'm moving on to the front of my head. So I like to take this in two sections. Same thing, release. Now around the face, how you approach this is gonna depend on how many layers you have, how short your hair is or might be, and like if you have something around here, you might not want, you might like softly do it. Mine are pretty long, so the shortest piece around my face is long. So I'm not going to worry too much, but I still like to section this, for, this part out in a diagonal section. And I like to smooth out and start around my chin or my lips sometimes, but do not start at the root or you're going to have crazy 80s hair. So you're keeping the top smooth and taut and then twisting your ends. Let it warm up and then release it. You can pull on it a little if you want to loosen it, if you, but you can also just let it cool down and then deal with it later. So now this section is what's going to be framing your face. So you want to really pay attention to it and make sure you don't do anything crazy with it. That would make it look bad. So pulling it out from my face, wrapping it, Gently heating it, letting it go. 
And there you see I left it right around here. This is like at my eye. So this is how the first eye looks now. Do the same thing on the other side. Starting in the back, vertical section, smooth it gently, and then curl away from the face using the same technique we did on the other side. And then release, just let it sit. Don't worry about what it looks like right now. Wait till it all comes together, or wait till you finish it all. You can always go back and refine. Don't get obsessed about one curl. Okay, now I'm at the front of the face again, taking it in two sections, leaving this face framing piece out to deal with separately. Making sure the top five, six inches is really smooth and taut, and then just curling what's gonna cascade down past your chin. So this piece, you definitely want to make sure it's smooth. You don't want any kinks or frizz. So like, if you have frizzy hair, you might want to blow dry this section or flat iron it if it's not smooth already. I'm okay with mine, how it looks. So I'm just going to smooth it out with my fingers. Kind of eyeball where I want it to start based on my face shape. And then release. I'll show you how I like to do the crown. I'm going to unclip this hair. All my hair is forward right now, so it's going to lay separately when I release it. And everyone's hair is different density, so you're going to have to kind of customize it for yourself. This section I like to take in two sections for me. So now I'm going to go horizontal across, matching the top. Weave this forward. Smooth this out with my fingers. And this time I'm gonna keep the wand horizontal. I'm gonna keep it this way. And put it behind the section. Keeping this pretty wide and smooth, I'm just gonna use the tip of the wand. Twist, wrap, twist, wrap. Let it warm up and then just pull the curling iron out, keeping everything in your hand, and gently let it go. Now take this section. You can put the wand down if it's easier. Don't worry about having knots or anything in your hair. Take your wand, go in horizontal. Twist and wrap. Release gently. See how my hair looks in the back right now? And then I'm going to push everything to the back and using my fingers just kind of massage the scalp to release the wave. Do not comb through the waves, don't rake through it with your fingers. You don't want to add frizz and you don't want to break it up that much. You just want to loosen it up. Take a pump of my Elixirol Team oil. Distribute it all the way throughout the palm of your hand. And the ears down. If you want a little more lift, you can flip your hair all the way over. Massage the scalp all the way through, which I'm going to do right now. Now you can see it's a lot looser, more bouncy. I'm gonna add the texture spray. I wanna give my hair a little hold and a little lift. That's why I like the VIP spray. It also acts like a dry shampoo. The key with applying dry shampoo or any powder finishing spray is you wanna go under the hair and hit the first couple inches of your hair. Do not put it on your scalp. I just like to take sections. And 
And then at the crown again, I like to do that too. And there you have it, beachy waves. If you are interested in more hair tips from a professional hairstylist, please subscribe to my channel.